Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and I'm joined with... Skinny Minnie! And welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Woo! Last time that we left off, we started the second trial here, and the divination seance isn't working. It's like, what? So, we had to, we're kind of continuing without it, and we heard Emma's testimony regarding, you know, what the, what the scene of crime and all that. And right now, we added to the testimony that he was an illegal Im immigrant, so we don't know his real name. And we I, we should have something here in the evidence that explains what's going on here, because well, Skinny and I were kind of discussing it off screen. It's like, is there any other way to know if he's a legal immigrant? And if you guys remember, um, I think it's here at the crime photo here of uh, Zealot here, he has that huge peach-shaped tattoo in the back of his neck. And we remember that Rafa mentioned that everybody has like some type of like markings or something to identify who they are. So you're telling me that they couldn't identify who this person was based on that tattoo alone? So let's see if this is what we gotta do. Objection! And it turns out it was right. Yay! Sorry, Detective Sky. But the police missed something important in their investigation. Uh-huh! What are you talking about? The victim was undeniably a, a, a Kyrianese um, na a native. And this crime scene photo proves it. It does? It's a little hard to see, but look closely. You'll see a proof that the victim was Kyrianese. Where? I don't see anything that would prove that. Well, this proves the victim was Kyrianese. And... Oh, wait, come on, finger, right there you go. Look at this tattoo right here. <laughs> or I've been playing, I've been playing a little bit of Far Cry Three lately, and they say tau tau. The power, tau. Of the, the, the power of the tattoo. The game's, I mean, I'm enjoying it. The re, and the reason why I'm playing it. Oh, well, I'll, tell I, the, what? Tell the story. Tell the story real quick. No, because I built something, and I need. Ah! I need to test stuff, and ooh, it looks nice. <laughs> Is it a Gundam? A gu I wish I had a freaking um, <laughs> Gundam mech suit. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but why? That's a tattoo of a ball sack. I mean, a peach. Oh. I would like to. <laughs> I am not mature. I would like you- I like you all to, to think about the meaning of this tattoo. We know. <laughs> oh, um, the victim really liked peaches? Well, peaches are a favorite delicacy here in Kirayan. They happen to be a personal favorite of mine. The sweetness of their abundant nectars and the softness of their perfectly ripe flesh. They are a blessing from the Holy Mother herself. Mick, I've suddenly got a craving for peaches. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I do as well. Oh no, me too. I'm like, mm. Peaches are good. But I'm peach cobbler. Aww. Woo! With some ice cream on the side when it's fresh out the oven. Oh, Aww. Let's eat right now. Well, let's screw the video. <laughs> uh. After a child, Maya, right now we have bigger fish to fry. But I don't want fish, I want peaches! Oh my god, Maya. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not a tattoo of a peach. Wait, it's not? It is a ball sack? <laughs> no! It, it's, it's not a peach, you say. Then what is it? Take a closer look. Haven't you seen something like that before? Namely, that tattoo of the High Priest's brow. Oh my! Uh, what? This mark is only board of members of the Kyrianus, uh, Kyrianus clergy. <laughs> so that is what you believe it to be. But are, are they not utterly different shapes? Well, sure, they're shaped differently, but there's a reason for that. The victim had a peach-shaped pet tattoo inked over an existing to uh, tattoo for some reason. However, the dark red uh, portion is exactly the same as the mark all Kyrianist clergy bear. Uh, hey, you're right! Hmm, until about 20-some-odd years ago, everyone did get one, didn't they? Why myself, man? What am I right? But to okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That is entirely too much information, Your Majesty. 
Information on everyone who enters the clergy is maintained at the temple. All we need to do is look up a monk with a mark in the same spot. I'm on it. I'll let you know if I get any hits. That will not be necessary if you seek information on the clergy. I have it all right here. Oh my, you never cease to amaze. So tell us, is there anyone who fits the bill? There's just one, and his name is... I think there's a reason why I'm being silent here. here. <laughs> Real Nemu. I think he's broken, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, his effing name is Real <laughs> Nemu. <laughs> he became a monk twenty years ago. Is his name literally <laughs> real name? <laughs> <laughs> then that must be the victim's real name. <laughs> but why would he have tried to cover up his tattoo of another one? Yeah, uh, there must have been some reason. <laughs> Nick! That's not important right now. The important thing is we know his real name! You're right! Your Majesty, now that we know the victim's real name, the detonation seance might finally work! Hmm, a lawyer who's willing, who willingly seeks a seance. That is utterly unprecedented. Entirely. Entirely, I mean. Huh. You are but digging your own grave defense. We won't know until we try. Sure, it's risky, but it's our only hope. Very well. Let the detonation seance be held once more! Alright, Rafa. Why would a lawyer work so hard to see the divination sands be held once more? You are a fool, Barbed Head, and your foolishness shall yield no gratitude from me. For with the truth revealed by my insights, I shall gladly seek your demise. Bring it on, Princess. <laughs> because I will correctly interpret each and every one of your insights. You will regret ever thinking you could use my sacred insights as evidence. Are we gonna have to skip this again? Oh, holy yep, mother. skipping, okay. yep, skipping, oh, skipping, so skipping. I mean, I understand why they do it, but... I mean, it's cool, but, I mean, at the same time, not all of the time, so... Press start now! Blue. Uh, uh, let's hope the audio doesn't go high here, but it might, so I apologize for that. Oh, look, it's that thing. Plum to punch your theme. Heavy? Heavy? Heavy. Pain? What? Was somebody on him? What? Heavy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Apparently Skinny realizes it, what it might be. I'm a little confused still. Uh, okay, never mind. We'll, 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 we'll discuss it later. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> it's just as Mr. Wright surmised. Perez a lot wasn't the victim's true name. And now at last we have seen the victim's final moments. But all we could see was a ground. Duh. You seem terribly disappointed. I take it you did not find any fodder for one of your infamous turnabouts? Duh. I, on the other hand, have discovered something. Conclusive evidence that establishes the accused guilt. You did? Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
surprising surprise attack. So, tell us, Prosecutor said madly, what is this conclusive evidence you have found? <laughs> the Plum Punisher theme song that the deceased heard. Please consider this item here. It was confiscated from the accused during her interrogation. Hey! That's my Plum Punisher strap! <laughs> when you press the Magatama on the Plum Punisher's belt, I don't like this thing compared to Steel Samurai. <laughs> it seems the accused inadvertently pressed the button in the midst of her crime. This strap is an extremely rare item, is it not, Miss Faye? Uh, you better not break it! <laughs> There's only one of those in the whole wide world! Maya, stop it! M Maya, no! <laughs> <laughs> Maya! You idiot! <laughs> it's just as I said. Your flights of fancy have come crashing down on you. She sure seems to be enjoying this. Oh, yeah, i never seen her look so thrilled before either. It is time to accept the fact that the divination seance is far more than mere evidence. It is the very truth that brings the hammer of justice down upon the accused. That is as conclusive as evidence can get. Now then, Neil, if there are any further objections... Objection! Slow down there, your majesty. At least let me make a, a counter-argument. What's this? Do you take issue with the divination seance? Oh, I have issues with it. I just don't know what they are yet. That's never stopped me before. The divination seance is not the absolute truth. It only becomes the truth after it's been interpreted correctly. You do not know when you are beaten, do you, you foolish lawyer? I am the only one who speaks for the Mitama of the deceased. If you believe there are to be errors in my insights, then let us see you prove it! I will show you, alright. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, she's 14, Pharaoh! That's not what I was talking about! Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm the wrong one, sorry. Oh, God, what's wrong sorry. with you? Sorry, I apologize, let's move on! Oh, my God, rape is in sight. The victim was offering up his prayers. It was the night of the right. The pattern on the plaza's ground was visible in the darkness. Then, someone was there, and the theme of the plumbed punisher filled the air. The accused held the victim down and plunged her dagger into his upper back. The blade struck true, and in that instant he departed from this world. That is everything the deceased experienced in his final moment. Her benevolence's insights have painted a detailed picture, both vivid and true. I didn't notice any holes there. As you stand now, those insights are really stacked against us. Uh, heal? Okay. I'll just have to go, go over each and every one of the deceased's sensations very carefully. Let's see if... Okay, I think the audio is holding steady for right now. Hold steady! Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. I'm just, I'm just watching. I... Let's... Okay, we'll play it again. So, he op it's open. He smells the stuff. The plum okay, wait, wait. theme. Heavy... And pain. <laughs> Victims often have his prayers. It was, and there it goes. The audio. Hold up, you. Let, let me lower the options over here. Okay. There we go. Though it was dark, the pattern on the plaza's ground was visible. Mm. 
Then there was someone there, and the theme to the plum to punish her. Filled the air. Or is it plumed punisher? I don't know. I think it's plumed. I think plume has to do something with feathers. Oh, crap. Yeah, we... Like, plumbed is the plumber. That's what I got, that's what I got really confused. I'm like, what does it mean, plumbed punisher? Well, we're idiots, but okay. It's plumed! It's plumed punisher. Sorry, everybody. Uh, how many, how, I wonder how many episodes people have been telling us that now. <laughs> oh, well. Um, the accused held the defenseless victim down and plunged her knife into his neck. His neck. Yeah, that's what it, whoa. It's not his neck. This is his back and the spine. Oh, we can't press on anything. That's what I'm thinking, like, I, I'm not sure, like, what sensation, what, and, like, what statements even do on this one. The blade struck true, and in that instant, he departed from this world. Gingji is that thing that keeps you awake, isn't it? Yeah. It's the night of the right, though it's dark, the pattern of the crown. Claws are still visible. Wait a minute. What? Is it someone in Gingji? In no. Hill? Okay, the second statement says it's dark. Is is neither right though it's dark. The pattern of the plaza's ground was this. Well, how the hell do we know that's the plaza ground? Remember, that looks like the thing, the the, the thing thing. He, yes, I under, actually understood that. Um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking now. Maybe he had his. Maybe he had his arms on the thing, like he was being like threatened, and then, because think what else was in that in that hideout. There was other plumed Punisher stuff. The alarm clock. But I don't know what the hell that heavy, what that could be. But maybe someone pushing him. Maybe. So what I'm thinking is, on the statement it says it was the night to the right. We can pause it anywhere, and I think we can just select sight. Okay. Let's try select. that. Objection. Do you think these were actually set up on purpose to make the divination stamp seem like she did it? Maybe. I was wrong, though. Oh, dang it. This is your benevolence isn't saving an inconsistent vision. Inconsistent? <laughs> I think not. Exactly! That's why I can see rules. Ah, uh, boom. Well, crap. I thought I, I thought I had something going there. I mean, it looks just like the things we found in the secret hideout. And that's why I was freaking out, because I was like, oh, something heavy, because that, that plumed Punisher alarm clock goes on every hour. What time was he killed? Uh, wasn't it like four or five? Yeah. Tyrus autopsy report. It's a lot. 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. So either at four he was killed or five. But we don't have the alarm clock yet. Well, we have the picture. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we can't present anything. We need, we need to present on a sensation and a statement. God dang it, this is going to be a long episode. Uh... Should we just meet them back until we figure this out? Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're gonna, we're, we'll be smart. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys. After God knows how long off screen, we... I think we might understand it. I personally believe I, I'm i like five steps ahead. I might know what actually happened, but it's just figuring out right here, right now. So something's actually bothering me is this whole thing regarding the Jinjil. And this statement, yeah, this statement, the second one says it was the Knight of the Right. And it's like, wait a minute, don't they only have that Jinjil, like, the day before, like very early on, I was like, I don't think that smell is supposed to be there that long. So, I think we can just present the the smell anytime. Press, present, damn it! Objection! There we go. Now I can lower the music because it's so freaking loud. Yeah. 
Well, actually, no, I mean, I gotta hire it. Never mind. Uh, oh. So that's. Boo. Uh, go here. Got options. I know it's a little bit of a stupid thing I gotta do, but. Wait, one, eh. one two, three, four, five, six. There you go. There we go. I'm good. <clears throat> Was it really the night of the right? What do you mean? It could not be otherwise. The accused slew Acolyte Zalot after killing the High Priest during the pur purification rite. The only problem is that a deceased spirit does not cor corroborate that. What's this? Take a good look at what the victim smelled. Do you see what it says, Gingel? Acolyte Zalot shouldn't have smelled any Gingel and the Night of the Rite. But what do you mean? Let me back you up. Let me back up my statement with some evidence for you. This should explain how the victim couldn't have smelled ginger on the night of the crime. And, Ow. Uh, isn't there something that explains the, uh... Oh, yeah. Her, uh, belief statement. I think. Yep. Let's present belief statement. Take that! The high priest's wife, believe in me, told me, told me about the Feast of Blessings. The feast includes a number of ginger based dishes, and they're only supposed to serve they're only supposed to be served at a certain time of the day before the rite. Well, I believe you're right. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> During the feast, the unique smell of ginger per uh, pervades the entire kingdom. The fact that the victim smelled it means he was murdered between noon and 3 p.m. the day before the purification rite. Oh. And why his body was placed there? Oh. <laughs> I am not so easily fooled. Did that autopsy report not make it clear? The estimated time of death was during the rite. Oh, right. I taught her about that yesterday. Well, forgive me, your benevolence. But the estimated time of death is just that an estimate. Depending on the circumstances, it's possible for it to change. What's this? Like, if a body was kept cold, the slow down rate of decay makes the death seem more recent. Well, I believe I have heard something of this sort before. Hmm. If it, if it is Mr. If it is as Mr. Wright claims, the estimated time of death in the autopsy will have to be revised. Okay. <laughs> Barbed head? You. You blinded me with science! You know, what is up with this game and music references? <laughs> like, it's everywhere in this game. She blinded me with science. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, what am I apologizing for? Hmm. No matter. The murder may have occurred in the afternoon hours the day before the rite. Nevertheless... The murder weapon with the accused fingerprints on it is incontrovertible evidence. I will now amend my insight to account for this new truth. Insight revised! Just because someone put fingerprints on it does not mean that they put their fingerprints on it. Hmm. So they call planting evidence, Rafa. It was afternoon... <laughs> It was the afternoon of the dark of the day before the rite. <laughs> Though a bit dark, the pattern on the plaza's ground was visible. Well, that does that second part doesn't make any sense now. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. The time of death has been corrected, leaving my insight infallible. Nick. A change in the time of death is bound to cause some sort of inconsistency. If I had something that showed it what, what it was like on that day, it, should, it could really help. What, like the newspaper? That's all I was gonna say. Oh, crap. Well, before I get this going, let me lower my volume again. There. So, if. Let's see. What, 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 what new time did they say he was murdered? God, we have so much evidence. Jeez. Okay. And we gave some, you know, like, stuff that wasn't even necessary to Elby. That was like three things. <laughs> Okay, time of death, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So it can't be dark, so it has to be sight, right? 
That's what I'm thinking, but it's like, where? Like, the same statement? I guess. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, it wasn't dark. I mean, it even says it's in the afternoon. So, it's... Like, <laughs> it's clearly light. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Try it. Uh, select... Sight. Objection! It was that easy? I mean, yeah. I proved it wrong before we even got into the seance again. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, me... I think that was the point. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. What are you doing? I'm changing back my audio. I, I had to keep doing it oh. for the uh, for this because like it's so stupid. All right, here we go. Fidget games. They changed the date and time of the crime. Has caused a new inconsistency to surface. What's this? Ah! You are making that irritating face again! Cease that at once! Oh, nope. voice crack. <laughs> Sorry, but this is the face I was born with. <laughs> now let's focus on what's important here and what the victim saw in his final moments. Can you imagine Phoenix coming out the womb like, yeah! Yeah! What? <laughs> Objection, ho! <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Alright. Do you have bats in the belfry, barbed head? There is nothing to see. The ground at the plaza was all that entered the victim's eyes. And that's what I find so strange. On a day before the right, it should have been impossible to see that pattern on the ground. Impossible, you say? Well, do explain. This piece of evidence shows why the plaza's ground was not visible that day. And I think it's the weather, because didn't it say, like, it froze over everything? So... Yeah, it was, like, white or something. Uh... Oh, crap, hold on, I'm trying to find... Wait, where is it? That's what I'm trying There's to... so much crap! That's what we gotta find right now. I know, I know I'm talking. Oh, here's the newspaper. It's next to the your badge. Right, but does it doesn't mention like it froze over the day before? The thick white ice that froze the ground from the inner sanctum to the plaza of devotion until yesterday has melted. The right can go now as planned. We give thanks to the season. Oh, I was I was looking at the actual forecast, not not today's purification right. Okay, so that's that. Uh present. This newspaper. That... Wait, what? Sorry, my button wasn't working. <laughs> no! This newspaper has an article that's tiny in size but huge in importance. It says the ground was covered with thick white ice the day before the right. What? But. The victim did not see so much uh, as, as an ice cube on the ground. Exactly. And so we must ask, what was the victim looking at in his final moments? If you have something to say, then say it. The last thing the victim saw was not the ground of Plaza Devotion. This can only mean that he was killed elsewhere. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> what? That word you propose the victim was actually killed! Uh, yes, tell us where, otherwise your argument is worthless. Um, about that... Oh, I hadn't gotten to that part yet. Oh, Phoenix, I know it! We do! Come on! Any ideas, Maya? Um, let me think. Well, it's somewhere green and shaggy, right? Right, but where could that be? What is it, Bob Ted? Giving up already? It, not at all! Now, where have I seen something green and shaggy? Austin Powers' house! What? Okay. <laughs> no, you, you do realize what shag means, right? Yes, I do! Okay. But it's also, like, carpet. Well, yes! Okay. That's what I was referring to. I was not referring to the British slang term. Okay. Just thought I'd let you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll go ahead and uh, continue this conversation and 
trial the next episode. The, the, the evidence part, not the shag part. Oh, well, okay, sure. Uh, so as usual, <laughs> thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Woo. Okay, woo. I'll see you guys later. Bye.